Hello and welcome to the APA 7th edition citation video. In this video, we will learn how to create in-text citations and a reference list. If you would like to skip ahead or move backward in the video, use the table of contents located below the video. The main topics covered in this video include an introduction to why we cite, how to write in-text citations, and how to form a reference list for the most common resources such as books, periodicals, and websites. Why do we need to cite sources? Cite sources when the material is used directly from other sources or exact words or phrases, paraphrased or summarized concepts that reflect research and thinking of other scholars, when you're using data and facts that others have gathered, and when you're using ideas and theories from other scholars. Now that we know when and why we need to cite our sources, the next section explains how to form in-text citations. There are two methods for incorporating in-text citations. They're called the narrative style and parenthetical style. Both require the author's names and date. Let's look at an example of each. For narrative in-text citation, the author's name is incorporated into the sentence directly followed by the year of the publication in parentheses. This is an example of a narrative style in-text citation. The examples below show variations of in-text citations if you have one or more authors. If you have two authors, include both names followed by the date of publication. If there are three or more authors, include the last name of the first author followed by et al, which means and others in Latin, and the date of publication in parentheses. For parenthetical in-text citations, author is not mentioned in the sentence, so the author's last name and year are included in parentheses at the end of the sentence. When citing two or more authors, include ampersand between the author's names. When citing three or more authors, include et al in the parentheses. This is an example of a parenthetical citation. Note that the period always goes after the parentheses. Citing a direct quotation. For the narrative in-text citation, if a direct quotation from a source is used, a page number needs to be referenced. For the narrative style in-text citation, the page number is included at the end of the sentence. If you introduce the quotation with a signal phrase, it includes the author's last name, followed by the date of publication in parentheses. In a parenthetical style in-text citation that uses a direct quote, page number is included after the author's last name and date of publication in parentheses. If you do not include the author's name in text of the sentence, place the author's last name, the year of publication, and the page number in the parentheses after the quotation. For an in-text citation, page number is not needed when summarizing a source. Here is an in-text citing chart including the type of citation, variations of all narrative and parenthetical formats for in-text citing. Now that we know how to form in-text citations, the next section explains how to form a reference list. A reference page is a list of all the sources used for your paper. Each reference listed corresponds with the in-text citation in the body of the paper. Reference section is an important component of the paper as it includes detailed information of sources gathered to support your paper. Following the APA citation guide for creating a reference page will help you communicate with your audience the details about your sources, such as the author, date, and URL for sources you have used. There should be enough detail for your reader to locate the sources themselves. APA creates guidelines for many individual reference entries based on the type of source, for instance, books, journal articles, and websites. Common information you will need for most of the sources is author names, date of publication, title, publisher, page range, URL, or DOI, which stands for Digital Object Identifier. When writing or researching, save the full text of the copies of your sources. This will help you create the reference list. 
The next part provides examples of reference entries based on common types of sources, such as books, journal articles, and websites. Refer to the APA Publication Manual 7th Edition for a detailed description on citing various other type of sources. Forming a reference citation for books. A template for citing an entire book includes author's last name, include a space between the initials, Year of publication, title of work italicized with the first letter of the title capitalized, as well as any first letter of a subtitle. Include a publisher name, DOI or website if needed. Citing a reference for a chapter or section of an edited book. Include author's last name and initials, year of publication, title of chapter, name of the editor, title of the book italicized, edition if other than the first, and pages of the chapter, and publisher. A periodical is a type of source that includes journals, magazines, newspapers, newsletters. Typically, you cite one article of an issue in a periodical. The template guideline for citing an article includes author's last names. Remember that there is a space between the initials of author's names. Date of publication. Title of that article. First letter of title and subtitle is capitalized. Title of journal. Volume number italicized. Issue number is not italicized. Page range and a DOI of the article or digital object identifier. DOI, or Digital Object Identifier, is a combination of numbers and letters unique to a source that provide a stable link to a location of the source. In APA 7th edition, you must include a DOI for any source that is assigned a DOI. You can find the DOI with the rest of the publication information. If there is no DOI, use URL. If neither exists, omit this part of citation. There are many different types of websites, and citing websites can be tricky. The next section provides examples for citing websites, online lecture notes and presentations, YouTube and other streaming video, and social media. The general template for a website includes, for an individual author of a web page, include author's last name with initials, date of publication, Title of website italicized, first letter of title and subtitle is capitalized, site name, and URL. For an organization web page, include organization name, date of publication, title of page, site name, and URL. For a complete list of how to cite electronic sources, please refer to the 7th edition of the APA Publication Manual. Citing online lecture notes and presentation slides. Include author's last name, date of publication, title of presentation italicized. When citing online lecture notes, be sure to provide the file format in brackets after the lecture title, such as PowerPoint slides or Word document. Include a publisher and a URL. Citing YouTube or other streaming video. Include the author or organization name. If there is a username of the uploader, include it in square brackets. Include a year, month, and date of publication. Include a title of video italicized with the first letter in the title and subtitle capitalized. Include file format in brackets for video. Include name of streaming service and URL. Note that the person or group who uploaded the video is considered the author. If the author's name is the same as the username, you can omit the username. Citing social media such as Twitter. To cite a tweet, include author's last name or name of group, username in square brackets, include year, month, date, Include content of the post up to 20 words, indicated as a tweet in square brackets. Include site name and URL. 
Note, if the tweet includes images, videos, or links to other sources, indicate that information in square brackets after the content description. Also, attempt to replicate emojis if possible. To cite a Twitter profile, include author's last name or name of group, username in square brackets, date, Twitter profile, date of retrieval, and URL. For a complete list of how to cite Facebook and other social media sources, blogs, and podcasts, please refer to the seventh edition of the APA Publication Manual. Forming a reference list. Following the APA citation guide for creating a references page will help you communicate with your audience the details about your sources such as the author, date, and URL for sources you have used. Below is a review of the guidelines for putting the source entries together on a reference page. References title is in the center top and in bold letter. Sources are listed alphabetically. The first line of the source is aligned to the left and the remaining lines are indented using a hanging indent. Spacing. The references list uses the same line spacing as the body of your assignment. For instance, if you used 1.5 or double space, then the references should be spaced in the same way. For detailed reference list formatting, consult the APA 7th edition. In conclusion, references provide important information to the reader. Different sources follow different citation rules, for instance, books, periodicals, and websites. Save source material as you do your research, and this will help you to create a reference list. Reference list needs to be organized so that the reader can find a complete reference to a source. Library support. Visit the James C. Kirkpatrick website and use contact information if you need further citing support. Print version of the APA 7th edition is located on the third floor of the library. Purdue University Online Writing Lab includes free online APA 7th edition formatting and style guide that is available through the Purdue OWL website. Thank you.